What's up weirdos? Happy Black History Month. Listen, in the past week, something terrible has happened. I saw two videos that have sent me down a rabbit hole of pain and confusion, and I need to share them with you. Cause I dug a little deeper into the two couples who these videos have originated from. And I think that we just need to come together, look at each other in the eyes and say, uh-uh. I'm gonna start out with the people who are less objectively bad. <laughs> you might've seen this video cause it blew up like crazy, has 45 and a half million views on just TikTok. It's been shared on Twitter too. And it's like, like even more views, it's crazy. But just for context, before we get deeper into this couple, I just wanna, I just wanna show you this. My husband and I have removed the bottoms of all all of our shoes. We decided to start walking barefoot and one of our followers had a great idea. Since some businesses don't want us being completely barefoot, if we cut off the bottom of our shoes, it'll allow us to be barefoot but blend in with everyone else. To be saying those words with that TikTok voiceover, like what do you, what? My husband and I have removed the bottoms of all of our shoes. It's saying it like those lifestyle TikTokers who are giving like marriage advice <laughs> and him giving the foot check with those orange crusty ass toes. My husband and I decided that we wanted to wear shoes without the bottom so we get our little piggies all over the place. And it's fine. People like this exist. They like to touch the ground, feel connected to the earth. There's nothing wrong with that. But cutting the bottoms out? Yankee with no brim? Jordans with no sole? Look at this frame right here. Look at all of the detritus on the bottom of his foot. It's fine. It's fine. Our shoe collection is worth more than $20,000. But this is a sacrifice we're willing to take because walking barefoot means the world to us. Your shoe collection is worth $20,000? Sorry, really? These beat up, dirty ass shoes worn by people who like to walk barefoot all over the place. I'm sorry. Even before you cut the shoes off, these were so dirty that they were practically worthless. I would find these on the rack of a thrift store for $7 and I wouldn't even touch them. Like, look at this, look at this. Are these shoes worth $20,000? No. This is like when I went to antique stores with my mom and thought I was getting filthy rich because of all the beanie babies we found. And then it turns out, no, just because you see online that a misprint Valentino 1993 beanie baby white bear says it's worth $50,000 doesn't mean anybody's buying them for $50,000. And when you spent $7 on it, you were actually the one getting scammed. Idiot. But I don't want to get too hung up on this. Let's get to the other stuff in this video. So now our shoes are worth more than money could ever be. What are you talking about? This is the voiceover of a granola Christian homeschooling mom account. You know what I mean? They're no longer worth $20,000, but now that they have the soles removed from them, they're worth more to us than anything. No, no. By the way, when you're walking, there's no way your little piggies aren't slipping out the edges. Just walk barefoot. And if somebody says, hey, don't walk barefoot in here. I don't know. Respect that. Hey, we don't want your grubby, sweaty, dirty, filthy, detritus covered, wet, fleshy piggies on our floor. We don't want Ebola too because of your dirty ass toes. And they go, okay. But we're lying. Also, so not gonna rest too long on it, but these glasses walking barefoot are priceless. He's not joking. That's not a joke. He's like being dead. To what are you doing? Listen, listen, I'm not one to criticize how people dress. I am well aware that my outfit right now looks like your gay aunt's boyfriend from high school, <laughs> but this is ridiculous. Also, yeah, Gus has a cone on right now and he's very embarrassed by it. Don't say anything. Also, get these necklaces, weirdothings.com, but also made with real pearl, real stones, uh, sterling silver class, really high quality, a lot of stuff, a lot of different designs. I designed them all. We made a little lip on the bottom of the shoe where our toenails will go so they can latch on so we'll actually be able to hold on to the shoe while trying to walk without the bottom. Stop showing me your boyfriend's feet. Stop. I don't want to see his orange Cheeto dust covered. And, and that doesn't even begin the pro- Oh my god. We built shelves for our toenails to latch onto? Describing your toenails as latching onto something is one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard. What are you talking about? What do you mean his toenails are latching onto it like he's a talons? Brooke said it right here. I get being barefoot in nature, but in the city? Exactly, because look at this. We decided to try it out. So we went to our favorite store, Sephora. And as you know, they don't really like us in here without shoes. I needed to grab a few things for a trip we're going on. The experience was absolutely- Don't brush over it. Look at his toes. Look, don't look at his toes. But look, they're slipping out. He's wearing anklets. This is some Hideo Kojima level design. Like, you know, Death Stranding 2 with the gloves with this, whatever. But she said- And as you know, they don't really like us in here without shoes. As you know, they don't really like us in here without shoes. Is there a saga here with Sephora and kicking them out? Yeah, I guess they've been kicked out from Sephora so many times that they decided, you know what? Instead of respecting their establishment, we're gonna go undercover with our little piggies because it's so important for us to get our little crusty toenails. Ah! Sorry for saying that. Oh, but they want to get them on the Sephora ground. Oh, shut up. Go squeeze some dirt with your toes, like some grass, like some branches, some bark. Not the floor of a Sephora with your detritus covered toes. Anyways, and remember, there's another person coming up who's even more revolting. So I just want to say, that's the thing everybody saw. That's the thing that went viral. Everybody's making fun of them for. But here is what I discovered. Look at this video that they just posted. Come with us to record our first rap song. Yeah, and listen, I'm sorry that you have to see this on Black History Month. They're rappers. 
Yeah. And she's still doing it with that voice. What is this voice? Oh, sorry. Let me play for a second longer. Come with us to record our first rap song. This is something we've been wanting to do for so long. Come with us to record a diss track on the West Coast side slimes. This is something we've really been wanting to do for a long time. Why are you talking like that? Why? Why? And why are you doing this? Put your shoes. By the way, if you go to a studio and you're going to do like a, a rap recording session and you have got your bare little piggies poking out of your Jordans, there is no way you're getting respected. The engineers are totally going to mess with all your levels. Like you are going to get screwed. No self-respecting audio engineer would ever record rap from these, I don't want to say it, hooligans. Now, when I first saw this, I was sitting here thinking, how could this type of person possibly exist? And then I found out they're from Cleveland. We headed into a local Cleveland studio that we absolutely love. Yes, these are barefoot somehow, Jordan wearing first time rappers doing a homeschool granola mom voiceover for their TikTok where they're going to rap for the first time because it's been a lifelong dream of theirs to rap in their barefoot Jordans. Now my thing is stop, stop. Anybody can do whatever they want. You're not harming anybody technically, but I'm harmed by your existence doing this. I'm harmed, I'm sorry. What's the harm in it? Me feeling this, seeing this, and then feeling this. But just turn it off, don't look at it. I, I can't. You're barefoot wearing Jordans recording a rap. I have to watch and I don't want to. But first, real quick, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Pear. Paired is a relationship care app that offers daily couples questions, quizzes, games. It's all about improving the happiness and the depth of your relationship with your partner. It's really fun, but it'd be better if I just showed you how. So Sophia has already answered the questions for red, green, or beige flag. So I just click that, start the game. And for this one, I answer the questions from my perspective first, and then from her perspective second. To me, someone asking for permission before they kiss you is a green flag. Come on. To me, someone being friends with their ex is a red flag. Red, 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 red. And then I answer what I think she would have answered for those same questions. To Sophia, someone being friends with their ex is, I'm gonna, she's gotta be red flag. Come on. And then I submit, and then we can check our answers together. And then you compare, you see how it works? Uh, this is Sophia, she's my girlfriend, she's pretty, pretty nice. Okay, and the winner is, show results, I won. By one point. By the way, fist bump on that, shout out to us. I think if we go back to the top, we're just gonna notice, I win. By one point. In five questions, one point is everything. I need some time alone, of course. So thank you so much to Paired for sponsoring this video. Again, click the link below and get a seven day free trial and 25% off Paired Premium so that you can maintain and deepen your connection with your partner. Now back to these partners, golly. We took a minute to say hi to Rich Baby and his friends and get hyped. I cannot listen to her talking like this. Oh my God, I have to watch that again. We took a minute to say hi to Rich Baby and his friends. <laughs> she's just talking about like, that's not his name, but she's saying it like that's him. We took a minute to talk to Rich Baby and his friends as it turns out, he's not actually a wealthy infant. Girl, just get it, get, get, get a grip, get it, get a grip. How do you think Rich Baby feels about these people? I have got to see Rich Baby. I just looked up Rich Baby Cleveland. What's this? Off the porch, Rich Baby on Cleveland, reality show with 10 women getting one of them pregnant, new single and more. Okay, so this is who they're recording with. Okay. Listen, Rich Baby, I just think that you've got a lot on your plate right now and you've got a lot that you can accomplish. You got a lot of potential. There's things coming out, things in the works. You got a reality show. You just got a woman pregnant. I hope she won, by the way, Rich Baby. Rich Baby, did she win? Or did another woman win the reality show, Rich Baby? and you just got another random woman pregnant who was on the reality show who's not the winner, Rich Baby. Please tell me, Rich Baby. But other than that, Rich Baby, I think you have better things to be doing than working with Christy Fritz and this barefoot Jordan wearing bozo. Let's see if they rap in this. Let's see if they get any bars out there because I don't, I don't even know because this is as far as I've ever gotten in this video. Everyone was super supportive and helpful throughout our journey and it turned out better than we could have ever asked for. We've been wanting to pursue rapping because there are so many natural benefits. Some of the benefits are enhancing cognitive function, boosting confidence, immunity, physical exercise. Immune, wait, well that list got weird. There's so many benefits to rapping. Learning how to think faster, having better word choice, not needing to get vaccinated, never getting cancer, living for 137 years, and hanging out with Rich Baby, even though we got a woman pregnant and he's got, you know, other things to be thinking about. Rich Baby, I really think there's a lot more that you should be doing rather than wasting your time with this. And these are just a few. We could tell that after the session, we definitely opened neural pathways and felt better than we ever have before. Yeah. Hey, that rap was, oh wow, I feel like I spat all over the place, yeah. Oh, look at the posture of him rapping right here. This is not a man who's spinning. This is not a man who has bars in his blood. Me, I have bars in my blood, Rich Baby, trust me. You put me in the studio, Rich Baby, we're gonna go crazy. I've got bars on bars on bars, Rich Baby. Let me give you some samples of some bars I have, Rich Baby. Just like me putting myself out there for you, Rich Baby. Nobody else listen to this. This is just for Rich Baby. I've got it written down right here, so I'm just gonna read off of it if that's cool with you, Rich Baby. Yeah. Stop legislating the pussy and let me eat it. Get the courts out the coochie, get it wet and let me beat it. And then the next part, Rich Baby would be, I want to f 
face full of vulva and a finger full of G, but these granny fucking geezers won't free the V. So it's about women's rights, bodily autonomy. And then Rich Baby, how do you feel about this as a follow-up to that? Now you should practice safe sex, but sometimes you go raw. I know you know that Rich Baby, you got one of the women pregnant from your reality show. And then I would say, and in a free fucking country, it shouldn't break the law. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta go raw in free country, it shouldn't break the law. So Rich Baby, just think about that, compare it to what Christy Fritz and her boyfriend were doing, and just let me know if you think I'm better or not. Ended up hopping on as a feature, and he supported me the entire way through. I seriously have the best husband ever. After post-production, we stopped back by Rich Baby and talked about something that you guys are going to be so excited about. We are so excited about this new endeavor, and we are going to continue grinding. Rain or shine, we'll be at the studio. And I can't wait for you guys to see. All right, you know what? Getting a look at Rich Baby right now, waving with them. I can tell they're tight. I can tell they're friends. It looks like they've actually got the bottoms of their shoes still attached. And I feel like it's come across like I'm joking a little bit too much with Rich Baby. Honestly, Rich Baby, I'm going to be watching your reality show. Genuinely not trying to make fun of you at all. I'm just trying to make fun of them. Because I think that they're a little bit weird. And maybe you think they're weird, maybe you don't. That doesn't matter to me, Rich Baby. Honestly, I think you're cool. I listen to some of your music, Rich Baby. I genuinely think that you're really hard. Everybody go stream Rich Baby. I'm not joking. Rich Baby out here. Rich baby going hard and i'm sorry for making fun of cleveland early i was just saying that to you know dunk on christy and fritz but rich baby trust me i think cleveland is fire as fuck if i'm y'all i would go stream 10 ratchet bitches by rich baby i'm assuming the 10 ratchet bitches are the bitches who were on his reality show i wouldn't call him that but that's what he called him <laughs> So that sounds like a producer tag. I'm wondering, is that the baby that he had from one of the women on the reality show? Rich Baby, is that your baby, Rich Baby? Let go, let go. I got 10 ratchet bitches. All of them, they baddies. Again, I feel like it's coming across like I'm joking. I genuinely, Rich Baby, all the respect in the world. And I'm about to move on to the next people, but I just wanted to show this one little thing just to submit it for people's, you know, reaction. Today, Seth is getting cornrows. This is something we've been wanting to get done for a while, and we're finally doing it today. Yep, so, and it is Black History Month, that's all I'm gonna say, yeah. Does she say this is something you've been wanting to get done? This is all you say, Christy! I'm cutting all the shoes off my shoes. This is something I've really been wanting. We're gonna go rap. This is something I've always wanted. Seth's gonna get cornrows. This is something that- Honestly, that's a beautiful way to live. If every single thing I did could be something that I've been waiting to do my entire life, I would love my life. By the way, I do love my life. As long as I got a rich baby in my AirPods, it's, go it's going good. No, I'm not joking though, rich baby, genuine- I love you, Rich Baby. But he's never had it done, so we weren't exactly sure if it would look good on him. Here's the thing. I don't think that it does look good on him because it's cornrows and he's... You know what I mean? Seth, we're white, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what am I mean? I mean, I don't know. Hey, look at it. That's white. I mean, okay, he could be Italian. Sorry if you're Italian. Jeff, if you're Italian, I'm very sorry for calling you white. Yo, hey, what the Okay, anyways. I just feel like if you're cutting the soles out of your Jordans because you need your little toes on the ground of Sephora, your favorite store, and your skin color and hair texture, yeah. Ah! Just think that, I don't know, go for maybe a low taper fade. <laughs> Imagine if Seth had a low taper fade. Rich Baby, you trying to sample that? Uh-uh. Even better. Yo, I yo, yo, sure Seth, I Seth, get down, dude. They're trying to shoot you with lasers, Seth. Seth, you gotta get out of there, Seth. Bro, they're after you, Seth. Your cornrows are too different. You're too tough. Your bottomless Jordans are too swaggy, bro. They're gonna kill you. Don't let them hit you with the lasers. Okay, you know what? It doesn't look good on him, and I think that's punishment enough that I can give him. It's not really my place to be doing anything about the cornrows, especially on Black History Month. It's not, it's not my place. I can understand that. All I'm gonna say, their vibe, I'm obsessed with it. And I am gonna be staying tuned to Rich Baby's music. I'm gonna be listening to new Rich Baby tracks and when that reality show comes out, I wanna watch it. You're telling me that Rich Baby is on a reality show where there's 10 women and one of them gets pregnant? Is that the, is that the name of the show? Cause I honestly feel like if the premise of the show is 10 women come in, one of them gets pregnant. Who will it be? That feels a little bit like a weird premise. But you know, it's just one of those things that you gotta you gotta watch to judge, I guess. But there is another couple who I saw that I just feel like we have to talk about. I don't even know how to preface this. I had to put it in the second half of the video because it's so, like, I, I don't know how to talk about it without it being dark. <laughs> this is Mountain Dog Farm, Desiree. Life off the grid. Off-grid family building community sufficiency in the backwoods. Are they smoking backwoods? No, they're not smoking backwoods. I love Jesus and he loves you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And I want to teach you to do this lifestyle too. So they have, you know, a, a program you can buy, which basically means go outside, suckle at the teat of a milk cow, and from there, just let it cook. Let it rock, let it rock. Just, okay, 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 just gotta show you this video. We're just gonna outbreed these people. That's how the, this video starts. Yeah, 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 yeah. The uh, audio from Turning Point USA, the most trusted publication in America. We're just gonna outbreed these people. Hey, you know what that is? E-U-G-E-N-I-C-S-E-U-G-E-N. 
Yeah, yeah, it, you can't. The study of how to arrange reproduction within a human population to increase the occurrence of heritable characteristics regarded as desirable. Eugenics was increasingly discredited as unscientific and racially biased during the 20th century, especially after the adoption of its doctrines by the, that's right, you guessed it, Nazis. In order to justify their treatment of Jews, disabled people, and other minority groups. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what this is, by the way. That's 100% what this is. No comments yet. Huh, I wonder why. Maybe because you're talking about eugenics? We're gonna have more babies, and 20 years from now, they're gonna say, why is the country so right wing? Well, you were too busy having abortions and having gay sex, and we got married and had kids, and we will repopulate the species. Don't know if you're quite aware of this. None of that's even true, by the way. It's not like that's just using buzzwords to get your crowd going, like, oh, yeah, gay people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, liberals are gay. Oh, yeah, the left is gonna die out because you know what? They're gay. So a gay couple in a loving relationship adopting a child and raising them to understand that being gay is a lifestyle that can be full of love and joy and acceptance. That kid is gonna what? Not exist? No, those kids exist. Hey, if you got gay parents, shout out. <laughs> hey, comment below if your parents are gay. Hey, are your parents gay? Bro, your mom is so gay. Do you got gay moms? I know Rob McElhenney actually watches uh, my videos. Rob McElhenney, big fan of film cover, by the way. Rob McElhenney, John Mulaney, and oddly, Pete Buttigieg. <laughs> Can you imagine Pete Buttigieg sitting down? Hey, Pete Buttigieg. He's gay with his husband and has kids. Booty judge kids. Hey, got two kids. Okay, so anyways, yeah. Just trying to tell some jokes, trying to lighten the mood after the whole E-U-G-E-N-I-C-S uh, topic topic of conversation, yeah. But that's what they're posting. I like to live off the grid and make so many babies because gay people and people who are terminating unwanted pregnancies, yeah, 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 those people mean that the left is gonna die. By the way, you think conservatives aren't terminating the pregnancy? They are, they're just saying that they're not. And then when it actually happens to them and they realize, oh, this is actually a catastrophic situation for my life right now and I need to make this decision. And oh my gosh, it's so bad, but you know what? I can do it because I'm feeling bad about, hey, 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 that's everybody, okay? Just cause you're out there milking cows and impregnating your wife three times a year doesn't mean, I know it's nine months, shut up. It doesn't mean that you're better. It doesn't mean that all of a sudden people are gonna become more conservative. By the way, as time progresses, cultures get more and more progressive. From the beginning of time to now, interesting. Especially in like modern era, I, 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 that's not what this is about. But the point is, I fear that this woman has been brainwashed to think that posting that is okay. I'm in my, I don't watch the news and my husband tells me the essentials only while I work hard to heal my body era. Well, listen, Babe. If the essentials that your husband is telling you lead to you regurgitating Nazism, then in my opinion, you should not be listening to his Nazi ass. Look at that dumbass right there. I'm sorry, bro. If you're telling your wife that it's such a good thing that the conservatives can do eugenics, I can make fun of you. You look like, I, I, okay, God, give me peace. Rich baby, please write a bar about this man. Rich baby, you're the only one with a pen so fire that can accurately describe and dismantle this man piece by piece. Rich baby, please, we need you, rich baby. And I'm not gonna say anything about her front teeth missing because people are saying that that can happen when you're pregnant. I don't know how. Maybe because the belly's so heavy that she like fell forwards and smacked her face on the ground. I don't know. I'm not gonna talk about that, but I am gonna say, yeah, if you are listening to this man and this man is telling you those things, you need to not listen to that man and you need to run. And also there's a thing where people can be like, oh, that guy sucks. And oh, like she is probably the victim of brainwashing. That's true. She is also freely posting eugenic. Like, let's not be like, oh, poor Desiree, poor Desiree. She's literally just a little girl whose evil husband is making her know all of these terrible things. No, she's also saying them by herself. She's a grown ass woman who can think for herself and say, huh, this sounds like the NAZIs. Maybe I shouldn't agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh great, something just caught my eye. This paragraph right here. This doesn't make me unaware of current day events. Oh what, because you just listened it through the Nazi filtered brain of your husband? Anyways, I've been praying fervently for Texas and our nation all month long. Why are you from Texas? God, you know what? I don't claim Texas, I don't claim it. I claim Houston, H-Town, Chopped and Screwed, Bun B, the Trill OG, like Ben taught me all these things. Ben has indoctrinated me into Houston. You know, if I think about it really, Ben is kind of my Nazi husband. No, 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 no. That's Ben, that's Ben. Also, one more thing. I want to show you this video that she posted real quick before the video that we just saw. Every family needs that one daughter that speaks her mind, doesn't like being told what to do, and is low-key healing all the generational trauma no one seems to be aware of. All the generational trauma for doesn't like being told what to do, except that she doesn't know anything other than what her Nazi husband tells her. Okay, yeah. I don't like to be told what to do. I just like to sit my white ass down and do whatever 
my husband says. That statement doesn't make any sense when you put the both statements into one statement. But yeah, shout out Desiree, shout out your husband, and honestly, shout out the January 6th committee. In my opinion, I think they should be looking into where he was on January 6th. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Imagine if he was though. Long story short, these people, God, God. You see what I mean Why the first people are like, it's funny and like, you know, there's things to talk about, but they're not people who you watch the video and go, oh my God, this is a bad way of thinking and living. I mean, you do a little bit on the other one, but in this way, it's like, no, 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 like this is evil, but it's portrayed as homeschool granola mom. Hey! They wouldn't say hi -o. they'd say, hey, yo! Hitler, you know what I mean? Oh, a little bit edgy. We're getting a little bit crazy. I gotta stop the video here because it's gonna get it's gonna get too far. Listen, I love y'all weirdos so much. Thank you so much for watching this. Please subscribe. Again, click the link below and get a seven day free trial and 25% off paired premium. And Rich Baby, please, please understand, I'm not making fun of you. I really am not. It's like just a funny thing to be saying throughout the video and like to be like making references to. Genuinely, not trying to cast any shade on you, Rich Baby. You're just doing your job. I'm, maybe you are friends with them in real life. Maybe not. It was, I have no problem with you. I have no problem with the city of Cleveland. Honestly, I wish that we could be friends. I hope that we could be friends. I don't know if I want to be friends with Christy and her and her barefoot Jordan-wearing boyfriend, uh, husband, I don't know. I, I, but Rich Baby, I am cool with you, Rich Baby. Like